So before he passed away, Nipsey Hussle sought out some advice from Steve Stout. What's up, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and get this. Nipsey Hussle was working on the follow-up album to his Grammy-nominated Victory Lap before his death, and he sought out some advice from executive and former manager of Nas, Steve Stout. At the time, Nipsey wanted some advice on how to avoid the so-called sophomore album slump. The revelation came during Steve Stout's interview with the Rap Radar podcast, where the veteran hip-hop executive shared his last text messages with Nipsey Hussle, which were sent just days before his tragic murder in March of 2019. Um, but he was so keen on understanding, and that was his whole thing, knowledge of everything. Mm -hmm. And anyhow, he sent me um, a text that I still have. Wow. Get my phone for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, look at this. There it is, boom. Look at this, right there. Wow. Wow. Read that. Can you read, read that? Elliot? Yeah, read that. Huh? You gonna be that. All right. This is March 26, 2019. Nipsey says, top of the week. Hope you, hope you solid. Got a question. I want to ask you about making my sophomore album. When y'all made It Was Written, do you feel like y'all did anything wrong? And you respond, you're crazy, crazy for asking that. So smart. The biggest mistake we made was rushing to get... Dr. Dre, Nas is coming. It was decent, not great. That was Dr. Dre's first production outside of Death Row. Oh, wow. I didn't think about that. The smartest thing we did was go for the feature out the gate, utilizing this his, incre his credibility from Illmatic. So I Rule the World made perfect sense. Nipsey responds, right, in capital letters. If I Rule the World was undeniable. I was 11 or 12, and I remember being blown away. And we was on some West Coast-only shit back then. That song was the only voice other than Pac that spoke to us as young kids from street on that level i gave you power the message street dreams affirmative action watch them niggas if i rule the world classics mm, boom. stop mm. cool wow let's press on after that so and if you look at the date and then when he passed you see how tight damn that was just a couple days prior you just understand what i'm saying so what are your thoughts on the conversation between steve stout and nipsey hustle and what do you think nipsey's sophomore album would have sounded like if he had gotten the chance to make it let us know in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.